Hello, I'm Loredana and today I will show you the next phase of our D-type transpiler which transforms D-type solidity into classical solidity code. Here we have visually created a geopoint type which has two subtypes, longitude and latitude. These types have already been added to our collection of custom types in addition to the types that solidity already supports. If we go to the next step, we have our D-type solidity contract which uses the geopoint type, the distance type, but more than that, it uses the calculate distance function. This function is deployed in a library that knows how to handle the geopoint type and it is registered in the D-type registry. We notice that neither the geopoint type or the library that contains this function are defined in the contract. If compiled, this code will throw an error. But now we will transpile the code by clicking on this button and we see that the geopoint, longitude, latitude and distance definitions have been added. And this line of code that used the calculate distance function has been transformed to this code. If compiled, this code will not throw an error. This transpiled code is built from the D-type registry data. And for the calculate distance function, this data looks like this. We know the library address, the type of function, pure, view, payable, or non-payable, and the input types, which are also registered with the type. Now, there are multiple ways of transpiling this initial code, and this is just one of them. The D-type transpiler enables developers to use a global decentralized collection of already deployed types and libraries of functions for those types, without needing to know anything about where these libraries are deployed. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next phases.